I would uh, I would gather the economic situation concerns the people uh, much more immediately, but uh, I think just as deeply they are concerned about the international situation. And then in some areas you've got the feeling that there hasn't been enough planning, there hasn't been enough attention to the development of our natural resources. But I uh, believe firmly in the Supreme Court decision. Uh, I feel that we have to work toward integration and we have to work toward it with all possible speed. Uh, I have pointed out uh, on previous occasions that I felt uh, that the national administration, knowing about this decision, uh, should not have awaited here again for a crisis to arrive. This is four-month-old Paul Andrew Reddy, the baby which has come into the national limelight since his parents allegedly traded him for a 1957 pickup truck as they attempted to cross the country while hitchhiking. The parents, 26-year-old Richard Anthony Reddy and his 20-year-old wife Helene, readily admitted the swap which was conducted Saturday with a complete stranger who had offered them a ride from Joplin, Missouri to Tulsa. The Reddys and Berger were brought from the city jail where they had been held in what authorities termed protective custody today and arraigned on charges of child abandonment. All of them entered pleas of innocent and were then transferred to the county jail to await a preliminary hearing August 24th. Mr. and Mrs. Reddy were charged with child desertion, which upon conviction carries a 10-year maximum sentence. Mr. Berger said, uh, uh, I'll tell you what I'll do it. I'll swap that baby for a truck. And I said, are you kidding? He said, no, he says. So I said, well, I said, I don't see why he do that. He had his wife and baby there, I mean, of his own, a baby, a young girl. And he said, uh, well, his wife had an operation. They couldn't have no children. And since we were so obviously in a desperate position, why, uh, he'd sort of help us out, he said. And so we talked over about a half hour, I guess, or so. We said, all right, we'd do it. And so that was about the basis of it. We made out a bill of sale right there. And uh, the amount of money on it wasn't had anything to do with it in the first place. It was just so it would be a bill of sale and look legal enough. Uh, Mrs. Reddy, what do you plan on doing if these child abandonment charges are finally cleared up and you're allowed to uh, regain custody of the child? Will you take custody of the, new, of the child again? Yes, I would. And uh, we continue your trip to California or will you yes. return home? No, we continue our trip to California because up there there isn't any work at all around there. I see. Uh, Mr. Reddy, could you tell us, sir, uh, yes, sir, how you feel about the situation now and uh, if you think you might have done it? Uh, before, if you had reali realized the consequences. Well, uh, I, as I told an officer, I said I would. He asked me what I'd done it again right then, and I said, "Well, yes, I would." I was considering. We were thinking about the baby more than anything else, because by God, it's pretty rough. Mm. Take it easy, dear. This is Selected Investments Corporation an Oklahoma City finance firm that has approximately 10,000 Oklahoma investors. Last November, an audit of the embattled firm showed a substantial loss. One legal incident followed another until the firm was declared bankrupt and a federal trustee was appointed March the 3rd. Today, an audit was released showing the financial condition as of March the 3rd. That audit is now in the hands of W.M. Harrison, general manager for the selected trusteeship. Mr. Harrison, how much has the, how much of the assets of the firm declined since the last audit? In other words, from November 1 to March 3rd. Uh, as of March 3rd, it was approximately down uh, 2,457,000. Now, what would the net worth of Selected Investments Corporation as of March the 3rd be determined as of to the, that time? Uh, approximately $27 million. And the total losses? And the total losses, uh, approximately $13 million. Now, there are any contingencies on this that might make the deficit larger than <coughs> is at present? Yes, uh, certain claims have been uh, filed with the federal court, which uh, total $2,090,000. And, and when do you anticipate that there might be a ruling on those? Well, I suppose that uh, these will come up as individual cases be heard separately.
an additional loss of $2,457,000 in the four months that ended March the 3rd. Total losses for selected investments, $12,971,329, and the net worth of the company as of March the 3rd, $26,929,000. $82.